How are you guys? This is PTY Trader. Um, today we're going to go ahead and study the Windows command line for Komodo D. I've set up a Windows server and we're going to do a clean install of Komodo. Um, I've gotten part of it started. It's uh, I'm going to go step by step so it might be a long video and I'll do it in sections. The first step is to download the Komodo binaries which you can find in a guide that I will post but currently it's also on GitHub. When you download it, it will look something like this. Okay, so I actually extracted the zip file and I renamed it Komodo. I put it on my desktop. So now I have to reach it through the command line. Okay, so I want to show you guys what's in here. This is the Komodo CLI, Komodo D, and Komodo TX. Okay, these are uh, how you're going to interact with the Komodo D. So in order to start the Komodo daemon, let's go ahead and do Komodo D EXC. And let's see what happens. Since this is the first time that it's running, it's asking me some, for some configurations. So I need to um, configure the, the, the Komodo com file. So let's go ahead and try to find that on this PC. C, users. And we might have to show our hidden folders. App data, roaming, Komodo. And let's go ahead and create a new text file. Komodo con. Okay, guys, now that the comp file is ready, we want to go ahead and download the Zcash proving keys, which will also be on the guide. For now, I'll be using one of the older guides. You can download those, and I will show you what to do with them. You want to copy both. We will go back to the Komodo, to the app data, app data, roaming, and in here we were, we're going to make a new folder called Zcash params. Let's just make sure that's correct. Zcash params with a capitalized P. Alright, where is it at? Sorry guys, I'm not used to Windows, I apologize. Okay, so now those are in there. Let's go ahead and run our Komodo EXE. Komodo DEXE. And it'll take a minute to start up. Loading blocks uh, can take a few minutes, and also since it would be the first time that I'm running it, it'll actually take about a day to sync the entire blockchain. So once it goes through the motions, I'm going to pause the video, and then we'll get back to it uh, tomorrow in order to show you guys how to create the wallet and everything else. Okay, so for now, it seems that it's running. Uh, it's not giving me any errors. Um, in any case, we can always check what it's doing. Okay, so well, that's perfect. Uh, it actually gave me, let's see something here, blocks zero. Okay, so that's not good. It's actually not syncing. So let's just give it a couple of minutes and uh, I'll check back on it. And if for some reason it's not starting again, uh, I'll go ahead and start the video and show you guys how to fix it. It could be a, a Komodo Kampf, uh problem in any case.
Okay, never mind. It's actually sinking as you see the blocks are going up. So now I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, let it run. It'll take about 24 hours to sink. See you guys soon. All right, guys. Now we're back and our blockchain is synced. I went ahead and generated a new wallet or a new wallet address with komodocli.exe get new address. And I got a new address which I saved and I sent 5 KMD to it already. We can go ahead and make sure that the balance is correct by running a get info command. Okay. Komodo CLI.exe get info. And what this does, it shows you the balance, 5 KMD, the interest, if I had any interest accumulated, the blocks that you're on, and the longest chain, which is the uh, actual block that the network is on. So as you can see, they match. They should. If they don't match, then the blocks must be sinking. Um, let's see. So okay, now that we have balance on, on our wallet, we can go ahead and make transfers. And I wanted to go through a few of the commands. So we already did the get info command. Now I want to do the send command. And we're going to send one Komodo to this address here. And in order to do that, we would simply type komodo-cli.exe, send to address, komodo address, and the amount. So one Komodo. And it automatically will give me the hash that I can save in order to check it on the Block Explorer. Okay, and it's already, it already has one confirmation. So, okay, that's how you send. Now, uh, since I didn't generate a new address on screen, I will go ahead and do it again. Komodo CLI.exe, get new address. And it will give me an address, and what I do, I will copy the address, but I will also take the private key. And we do that by running a dump priv key command. Okay, and it would be komodo cli.exe dump priv key, paste the komodo address, and it will automatically give you the private key which you can use to import into Agama or into any other. Uh, GUI client that we have. All right. Um, let's see. I think that's pretty much the the normal commands that most people will use. The get info to see your address, uh, the send to address to send, and uh, if you want to see uh, your address groupings, you can. address list address groupings okay and there you go it shows both of our addresses and it shows the quantity in each now if I had balance in the new generated address it would show on there but since there's no balance it's not going to show on the list address groupings um, okay so that's pretty much it I'm going I'm going to publish a list of commands with this guide uh, there's some confusion about the GUI but if you use the non GUI you'll see that it's very reliable and the commands are not that hard to learn and if you guys have any questions please join slack I'm always on there trying to help and uh, visit the supernet.org website if you guys have any more questions thank you so much and have a great day